Well, guys, we're back from our Lucifer Rose season six, episode seven. This one is called My Best Fiend's Wedding. Uh, so, guys, from the last episode, you know, Menadil, you know, was out, you know, of course, out there as a cop, you know, doing investigation. Of course, one detective was giving him a, a pretty much a hard time or whatever, because I guess, you know, like Officer Harris says, you know, you got to keep your mouth shut on certain things. You can't really speak out against, you know, the detectives and stuff, which is like, to me, I I, I feel what Mandel's feeling. It's like, I thought we're here to solve crimes. I hear, I thought we're here, we're here to help people, not you know, do all this, you know, craziness. But of course, Mandel just had to learn, you know, he, he learned a lot. Uh, definitely during you know being an officer so you kind of see it kind of wearing them down a little bit Metadil just had of course had to learn a lot you know of course you know what it's like to be an officer and you know trying to you know solve things but you can't really solve things because you got to go through the detective or whatever so it was kind of you know certain things were just you know certain rules or whatever kind of stupid and stuff but Dan was there to support him all the way even though Dan was almost getting him in trouble even though everyone was like looking at him like he was crazy and stuff it was just so freaking funny when he's trying to talk to him you know he's talking in front of Officer Harris and so she was looking at him him like you crazy <laughs> or something like that but and it was cool that uh Lucifer you know got to sing with you know his daughter Rory and stuff and it was really interesting to see that they both they're both really similar in every way and I think they will get closer over time I think it's going to happen it looks it seems like it's going to happen uh she just had you know just gotta give uh, Lucifer a chance. That's pretty much it. So, guys, I'm looking forward to getting to this next episode of the Patreon sponsor for today is from Heidi. Heidi, thank you for all the support for this month. I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure you go on the page because you're joining our personal support that does come around. Anyway, let's just get to this next episode for Lucifer. Yeah, okay. It's cool. Cool? This is the most beautiful view in all of Los Angeles. One that only angels and very persistent pigeons get to see. My whiskey, gone. Replaced with urine. Damn. I expected more of my favorite aunt. Oh, she also did something far more heinous. Sorted all of my suits. Ooh. It's more like it. Hmm. So, did you have it coming? Now you tell me. I ate the last of our Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> all that's to say, I can't imagine what she'll do to you. Save me after the short suiting debacle. Here, I'm going tonight for a fitting. Join me. We could. Coordinate outfits. Get matching cover bands, Pat. No. Why? Well, I'll be there if you change your mind. Not that I expect you usually do, but the father can dream. The only family I need, okay? Which is why I am not going to let anything or anyone ruin our wedding <laughs> tomorrow. Adam? Look at me Wait, it's time to come home, babe. Wait, they brought back Adam? I thought he died. Or like, got hit by a car. I'm sorry, Eve. I know I haven't been giving you the attention that you deserve. And that's over now, babe. I mean, gone are the nights of me ripping whippets, staying You're up. You really gonna just roll up bootlegs. there and do that? Come on. I'm yours. What exactly is it you think this is? You think this is me just trying to get your attention? Yeah. This is not about you, Adam. This is about me and the fact that I fell in love with someone else. I know her kind. I was married to her mother. Hmm. Which, by the way, you are a spitting image of Willa. Hey, don't get caught up in the fine print here. It's not a detail, okay? I didn't choose you. I'm gonna choose Maze. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> it does say 40 whole years of being Dan. But guess you didn't read it. Ellie, you got a second? Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh oh, look at that cuteness. Quick update. You're welcome. I have my suit now. So I am all ready to be your date. Very excited. And this is where you say, I'm so excited too, Carol. Of course, I am excited. Every time we talk about this wedding, you look like you ate a bad oyster. If you're having second thoughts about even taking me to this wedding, that's fine. Carol Corbett, I am 100% not having second thoughts about you being my wedding date, okay? I feel so useless. Tell me about it. I hope I'm kidding. Even if you could hear me and told me what was wrong, how could I actually help you? I mean, honestly, other Dan has a better shot than I do. It's 
normal that seeing your ex suddenly wow. after a long period of time would bring up unwanted feelings. It gave that woman everything she wanted. He's in the therapy. What did she give me? He's in therapy too. It's like a everyone rep. goes to her for therapy. It's the world's number one cuckold. This is important stuff. I mean, that's why I can't let the wedding happen. Oh, no. Well, I beg to differ. And I'm not just saying that because I'm their officiant, which I am, by the way. Small world. Yeah. I mean, what are the odds, right? <laughs> right. Oh, I'm in trouble, aren't I? I can't tell you what to do, Chloe. But I can say that you're lucky that you have a choice at all. So many people don't have the option to just walk away from this fight. You're right. If the place that I worked almost my entire life is part of the problem, then the least I can do is be part of the solution. Make the world a bit better for my kids. Rory will have a wonderful child because she has a wonderful mother. Doggy always comes back to its bone. So glad you're here. That demon lying in wait, ready to take me down? No. Just little old me. Uh. Oh. Nice. Hmm. Oh, that's oh, Adam. You never forget your first. Am I right? You. Aren't Lilith. Oh. Close enough, though. She's not even a whole person. Just a piece of you. Okay, that's enough. I'm torturing him so we can find Linda. Yeah, but who are you really torturing here, though? Him or me? You're just the button I'm pushing. Okay, well, stop pushing. Use something else. That's not how torture works, Eve. Really? This oh, is what God. I do. Who I am. You want demons at your wedding? Well, this is what it looks like. What? Too much for you? Adam? Yes? How did you find out about the wedding? Uh, I heard it from Seraquel, who heard it from Gabriel, who uh -oh. could have heard it from anybody because from Maze. it's actually the talk of the town up in the Silver City. They're here nor there. A couple Maze. Weeks what? How did he find out? It was me. I sent the news hoping your idiot ex would do something about it. I'm the idiot? Really? I, everyone knows it's Adam and Eve. I would you want him to find out? Because I, I... Because what? Because I can't be a mother. This is all about the fact that I said that you would be a good mom once? Yeah, once was all it took for me to realize you have no idea who you're marrying. Uh, we still have to find Linda. I'm sure you'll manage. I got your text. What's the emergency? I have a suit that needs fitting. Tell me. Uh-oh. What is it you truly desire, Adam? I... I want to be a better man. Uh, no. I, at first, I kidnapped the doctor to sabotage the wedding. Yeah. But then she helped me realize what I really need to deal with my issues. What issues? Well, when God first made me, my role was clear. Name all the animals, avoid certain fruit, and be a man. That meant be strong, show no weakness, and problem solve through violence. Everything has changed since. Where is she at, Women though? are no longer an obedient piece of men. I swear I didn't hurt the doctor. I can take you to her. Thank you. See? Even the most primitive of men can evolve. I never gave you your wedding present. Uh, what am I looking at? Demons from hell in freshly dead bodies. I asked him to do this. Whether there's a wedding tomorrow or not. I wanted my family to know that I'm proud of who I love. Must have been very hard to ask. Yeah, but I realized that I was holding on to some pretty old ideas of what I thought demons were supposed to be. Turns out some of us are the happily ever after kind. I mean, Squee's favorite movie is Four Weddings and a Funeral. Mainly for the funeral, but still. I promise, if you give us another shot, I will never stop trying. Because I do believe in us. I'll call the caterer. My best fiend's wedding is back on! <laughs> hey. hey. Oh, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, uh, I'm saving this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh -huh. 
No problem. Hey, how are you? Is it Dan? Whew. Thanks for looking out, man. So anyway, build a head ratio. That's the only surefire way to tell Downey from a Harry Woodpecker. I had no idea you were into birding. Yeah, I never was, but that's the only book I could find down there. It's nice. Book. Look at her it's face. Like, She's like, what is Field going guide on? to birds of North America. Yes. Rory, it's a seat here. Rory. Why is she, she so hard at it? God, <laughs> it's like it's been driving me nuts. <laughs> Aw, oh, let's get the black dress on. And I will drive on the highway. And I will turn off the highway. Eve, I, um, I, I just love you so fucking much. <laughs> I love you so fucking much. <laughs> That's a <laughs> I now pronounce you wife and wife. Wife and wife. Ooh, cool wedding. Kept it simple, kept it small. Very nice area, too. Hayes is only on a third tequila bottle. That's what you have to say to me? I waited. You never showed up. Waited? Where? Showed up for what? Oh, you went to the tailor. <laughs> oh. Oh. I never showed you up. That's tailor. what. Oh. oh, Rory, I'm so sorry. Maze needed my help. And you went running like you always do for everyone else. Oh, that's why she was mad. There's okay. There's going to be someone Forgot to... or something that you choose over me, isn't In there? In my defense, you did say you weren't going. Why don't we talk about it over game night? Oh, wait. That's something you only do with Trixie, who's not even his real daughter. I Rory, this. you guys, come over here. I am not okay. I have been trying to keep it together for Maze and Eve, but I can't take it anymore. I know the truth. I know that Lucifer is the actual devil, not like the most method actor ever. And Amenadale is an angel, which makes Charlie half angel. <laughs> so you don't see the vapo de volado. She's no sabemos. Eve. Oh, I guess the first woman. <laughs> oh, 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 and 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 apparently. Zombies are real. Well, technically, they're not zombies, Miss Lamp. How much help can I be in stopping the end of the world? Whoa. Still, you guys well, could have at least... Back up. What do you mean, the end of the world? I thought you told me that was all inside your head. Yeah, I lied. Because I figured you were just trying to throw me off the set. Are you guys telling me that you don't know the world is ending? That can't be good. Ooh. <laughs> Crisis averted, babe. See, got all cleaned up before it's set. What'd I miss? A lot. I right, guess this is a really good episode for Lucifer. So Lopez is now saying that the end of the world is coming. I think she said it earlier or whatever when she said it, and they thought she was like joking or whatever she's thinking, and she was actually serious about it. She was so drunk out of her mind that she pretty much admitted that you know, that, okay, I know Lucifer, you're the devil, Metadel, you're the angel, uh, you know, Maze, you're a demon. Of course, she, like, knew, like, everything that was going on. So, I wonder how they're going to talk to her about this and see how she's going to really take this. I think she'll take it very well, but now they got to figure out this end of the world stuff or whatever. Uh, so, and how to basically stop it from this point. But I don't think they really could. I think the only person that could probably stop it is Lucifer in my personal opinion, because he's going to become God. So that's the only thing I could really think of. So Rory was upset that uh, Lucifer didn't go to the tailor. I was like, missed that part. And I was like, okay, that's why she was mad. I don't want to, I don't know. It's just something about it just drives me nuts. I don't hate her in particularly. It's just, I'm like, man, you're so hard headed. It's just like, I don't know. Cause I'm not a father at all. So I don't really understand, but I can at least, at least have a degree of like how much it can just drive you crazy. But I think Lucifer and her will eventually, it'll be right. Some way, somehow, it will be right, and that's what I'm looking forward to. And I hope everything goes well for both of them. I really do. Anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to getting to this next episode. Please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you just go on the page to get the full reaction. Also, consider supporting the channel as well. And you guys, space a wonderful day. I'll see you next, Lucifer.